fantastic. So today I am gonna be taste testing the whole Boston Market menu. And sometimes when I say that I'm taste testing the whole menu, y'all get mad at me because I don't actually buy the whole menu. <laughs> today I bought almost legit the whole menu. Now some things were sold out and some things came in like meal versions and blah blah blah, but I tried to get almost everything. I got desserts, I got sides, I got tons of meats, I got pies, I got it all! And you can too, if you're willing to spend $100 on food. Now, first things first, it's not sponsored by Boston Marker, y'all. Zaddy Boston doesn't know who I am, but he will today. <laughs> Now, I don't know if Boston Market is like around the whole country, I'm not sure. Some of y'all bitches probably thought it was just in Boston. Girl, I'm in Miami. Basically, it's a very comfort foodie type of restaurant. They have things like mashed potatoes, gravy, turkey, chicken, meatloaf, ribs. It's like very like stick to your ribs, stay in your ass kind of food, you know? Well, for me, it would stay in my love handles. Now, y'all, I got 17 items. 17! And I'm gonna taste test each one and tell you my honest opinion, my honest review. If I dislike something, no offense to you or to Boston Market. I have had Boston Market a few times, but I've only tried like mashed potatoes and turkey, like that's it. So all this is new to me. Anyways, y'all, let me tell you about all the items that I got. Sweet potato casserole. I'm not a big fan of sweet potato casserole or sweet potatoes in general. Like I've said before, they are the devil's potato. They're orange because of his fiery anus. Garlic dill potatoes, that's another side. Rotisserie turkey breast, I love turkey. Especially if it's the turkey titty, the gobble gobble titty. Southwest Santa Fe salad, ooh. A whole meatloaf. <laughs> I got a whole one because I like meatloaf and I might as well save it in my fridge, right? Slice it up for days. Apple pie. Ooh. A pulled barbecue rotisserie chicken sandwich. Mmm. St. Louis style zesty barbecue ribs. Chocolate cake. Rotisserie chicken noodle soup. Creamed spinach. That one just kind of broke the streak of deliciousness. I've never in my life had creamed spinach and I'm terrified. I like spinach, but creamed spinach? I am not ready. Um, Caesar salad, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, chicken pot pie, a whole chicken pot pie, y'all. Ah! I love chicken pot pie, but I only like chicken pot pies if they have crust on the bottom as well at the top. I've had a few chicken pot pies in the past that do not put a crust underneath. That's like wearing a shirt and having your balls hanging out, y'all. And so let's hope this has the bottom crust and the top crust. And then we have a rotisserie chicken carver sandwich and carrot cake. So it's a whole lot, y'all. That's 17 items. Once again, I got this delivered, so I'm hoping that they did everything correctly. If they didn't, it's totally fine. You know what we said, y'all? It was a big order, so it's not their fault, and anyone can make a damn mistake. So stop being such a petty little bitch and saying, my ice is melted, my french fries are cold, eat it. Let's look at everything. So, ooh, these salads are big. I think this is the Southwest salad. Y'all, that looks really good. And then we have the Caesar salad. Okay, just some um, Parmesan cheese croutons. Oh! I forgot, I also got cornbread, which like came with like a bunch of the different meats. I'm obsessed with cornbread. I love it so much. Oh, no, there's three pieces. I'm gonna be feasting for dogs. Here we have some of the desserts. We have the apple pie. That's a really big slice, y'all. We have the carrot cake, which got a little smushed. Get out of there, it's stuck. All the frosting came off, but I'm kind of happy because I'm not a big frosting fan. I'm more of a cake bitch. We have the turkey breast. Mm. So yeah, that's just the little turkey breast a la carte. Here we have the ribs. Oh my God. Oh my God, they smell so good. Oh my God. And then we have some sides. Here we have um, the creamed spinach, I think. That strangely smells really, really good. It smells like a um, spinach souffle. The sweet potato casserole. Oh my God. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like a dessert. And then we have the mac and cheese. <gasps> Mmm, oh my god. That smells like that good mac and cheese. Like, the mac and cheese from my childhood. And here's the mashed potatoes. They smell really, really good. I've had their mashed potatoes and they're really good. Spoiler alert, okay, it's really good. Now, I don't see gravy, so I hope they gave me some. I'm not sure. Now we have the biggest bag of all. It's really heavy. It probably has the whole meatloaf in it. <laughs> Here we have one of the sandwiches. Oh, they wrap this real good. It's like Subway. Okay, so this is, oh. That's like the barbecue shredded chicken sandwich, I think. That looks so good. 
It smells incredible, y'all. By the looks of things, y'all, I'm really impressed so far. Because I've only had a few things from here, so I'm not really sure what they're all about. But I'm really snatched. Now, this is the other sandwich. I think it's just the simple carved turkey one. Oh, y'all, that looks so good. It's like one of those like real fresh ones with like lettuce and tomato and stuff. Amazing. Now, what is this? Oh my god, y'all, I see gravy. <laughs> Here are the, I think, garlic dill potatoes. They smell like a really good, like, simple potato. And then we have the chicken noodle soup. Let me open it carefully. Ooh, that's a lot of soup, y'all. That's like a big bowl. Now, what is this? Oh, this must be the pot pie, y'all. <gasps> oh, yes! <laughs> that's so pretty. <laughs> now, last but not least, we have the whole meatloaf. Okay, it's sliced up. Up, ready to go. That's really good. And y'all, this is freshly delivered, so everything is still really warm. It smells really good. It smells like a good meatloaf. I stand. Okay, let's see if they got everything correct. I think they did. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wait. Oh, y'all. There is one item missing. Um, it's the chocolate cake, but that's totally fine. It was such a big order, and I think they did amazing. So I'm gonna set up all the food, get my thumbnail, and then we will start tasting everything. Wait, y'all. I just noticed while I was setting up that they also forgot my whole ass chicken. <laughs> which is fine, of course. It was a mistake. So that is why I'm not tasting their chicken today, which is sad because it is one of their main things there. But that's just how it turned out, y'all. Anyways, I'm gonna get my thumbnail. Never mind, update. I just noticed on the receipt that I never ordered a whole chicken. I didn't, I thought I did. I guess there were so many items that I literally just like got confused and thought everything was there, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, let's get, I'm gonna get my damn thumbnail now. Okay, y'all, so it's time. We're gonna taste test every single item that I have here. And of course, I'm gonna tell y'all the prices. So, oh, by the way, subscribe to become a Juicy Tomato. And also, I'm on Cameo, so if you wanna get a selfie style video from me for yourself or a friend or a loved one, cameo.com slash Timmy Tomato. Link is at the top of the description. Okay, so let's start with, ooh, let's start with one of the main things. Let's do the turkey. Okay, so y'all, I love like carved turkey because it always makes me think of Thanksgiving. And y'all, this looks like Thanksgiving turkey. Like it looks so good, so real, so legit. And it's all white meat. Um, I'm not a big fan of dark meat turkey or like chicken. It's a little too greasy for me. It has too many little veins and stuff. I like this clean part of the meat. So of course I have to put the gravy on top of it. Thanksgiving turkey needs gravy or else it's, it's a bit too dry. Let's taste it. Mmm, y'all that is really, really good. If you've had Thanksgiving turkey, it tastes exactly like that, but really not dry at all. It's very moist, even um, without the gravy. Look, this piece has like nothing on it. It's so moist. There's no dryness in this bird. This amount of turkey was $5.89. Now, is that a little pricey? Yes, but there's also an option to get it as a meal, and then it comes with like sides and stuff. The cornbread's right here, so we might as well try it next. Let's see the texture of it. Can you see this? Oh my god. It looks so fluffy, y'all. Oh. But the outside is crispy. Oh! Mmm. Mm. Truly some of the best cornbread I've had ever. Um, in case if y'all don't know what cornbread is, like if you're from like a different part of the world or something like that, cornbread is basically like a little piece of bread that has almost like a cupcake-y texture to it or like a cake texture, and it's really sweet. It almost has like a honey flavor to it, like a honey, sweet corn flavor. It's not gross, I swear. It's really, really good. And some people put corn into their cornbread. I don't really like it that way. I kind of just like it with like the flavor of it. This one I don't think has corn in it. I don't see any corn pieces, but it was so good. If you have not tried cornbread, try it as soon as possible. Oh yes, by the way, y'all, at the end of this video, I'm gonna rank every item from best to worst. So stay tuned and let me know in the comments what your favorite item from Boston Market is. Next up, let's try a dessert. Let's do carrot cake, y'all. So this cake like looks so dense and so moist. It does not look like a normal cake. It almost looks like a brownie texture. The frosting also looks like a great texture. Like I said before, I'm not a big frosting fan, but it smells like cream cheese, so we're here for it. The price is $2.99. I mean, that's not a bad price compared to like sit down places where like desserts are like $7. Oh my God, the texture, I can't. 
Oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> so inside I do see shreds of carrots and I think some kind of nut, I'm not sure. Now, once again, this might sound gross to people that have not had it. Carrot cake does not taste like carrots. Um, it tastes like a cinnamony, warm, fluffy dessert, okay? So if you haven't had it, you need to try it. Let's taste it. Oh my god. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Okay, mm. Y'all, to be honest, at first my gay ass was a little thrown off. I was like, because there was a very strong flavor of something that I could not pinpoint. I was like, what is that? I was like, what? But then the more I chewed, that flavor kind of got a little more tame and everything came together and it was delicious. I figured out what the flavor was. It tastes like ground cloves, like a little too much ground cloves. Usually there's like a little bit of ground cloves in like pumpkin pie, carrot cake, things like that. But I feel like there was a tiny bit too much in this, like a tiny bit, just a little too strong. But other than that, this is an amazing dessert. So good. Let's see where it ends up on my ranking though. Who knows? Next up, let's do a side. Let's do the garlic dill potatoes. I think that's what they're called. Let me check. Okay, wait, they're called the garlic dill new potatoes. What makes them new? I mean, I'm glad they're not used. <laughs> I've never heard of a food with new in the title. Can someone explain what new potatoes are? Are they fresh out the potato pussy? Like, <laughs> anyways, this was $2.89. Not bad for a side. Now y'all, I love dill. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I love pickles. Sorry about my creaky chair again, by the way. I swear, I am gonna get a new one. I promise. But some of y'all love my chair. Some of y'all are like, oh my god, we miss the chair so much. She's back. She's collabing with Timmy again. We stand. And I'm like, okay, if you want her, I'll keep her, but I might get a new one. We'll see. Anyways, y'all, I love dill. I think it's because I love pickles so much. It has like a slight, slight pickle flavor. And I don't know why, it just brings a slight freshness to everything that it's on. And I love garlic too, so let's see how these are. Hmm. 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 Okay, I have a lot of thoughts. They have a decent flavor. They're not like really flavorful, but they're also not like flavorless. They have a small, nice, garlicky, dillish flavor, which I really do like. I just wish there was more of it because the actual potato tastes really, really fresh and just like really like an amazing texture. It does not taste like a frozen potato. It's really, really good. It just needs more of a pow. Next up, let's do one of the sandwiches, y'all. Let's do this barbecue one. So this sandwich is called the Pulled Barbecue Rotisserie Chicken Sandwich. Um, it was $7.99. I think that's a pretty normal price for a sandwich like this. I mean, it has a lot of meat on it. Um, it looks really, really good. So I think that's fair, it's a full meal. So I just see a lot of chicken, a lot of barbecue sauce. Is there anything else on this? I'm just trying to look, oh, and cheese. I see a piece of like cheddar cheese or something like that smothered in there. I think that it's pretty normal for a barbecue sandwich to be kind of toppingless. That's just like how they usually are. So I'm fine with it. That looks so delicious. I mean, it could be a little wider, like the bread, you know what I mean? It's kind of like skinny. Listen, y'all, I'm a skinny legend. I don't want my food to be a skinny legend. I want my food to be a fat legend, okay? Mmm! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, y'all know, y'all know me. I'm not the biggest barbecue fan, okay? I'm not that kind of like stand at the barbecue with pride with my tongs kind of guy. Like most straight men are, I'm a gay ass bitch. And I'm not the biggest barbecue fan, I just can't help it. But this, my gay ass just bought a truck and bought a beer, y'all. I, I am snatched. That is one of the best barbecue sandwiches I've ever had. First of all, the chicken is just amazing quality. It's pulled right off that, that carcass and it's so good. The barbecue sauce is not overpowering. There is a lot of it, but I really don't mind because it's really good barbecue sauce. Um, the cheese is great. The bread is a great fluffy texture. It isn't too soft, but it's not too hard either. It's not like crusty like a baguette. This is not a wee wee sandwich, okay? This is a, oh, huh, I'm gonna go out to the buffet to get me a vagina. <laughs> That's that kind of sandwich. Like, I feel straight. I feel empowered, and I want to go hunting, y'all. No, I'm scared. I would never want to go hunting. Well, y'all, we might as well taste the other sandwich, mamacita. So this sandwich is called the Rotisserie Chicken Carver, and it's also $7.99. Okay, so I see rotisserie chicken breast, which looks amazing. I see lettuce, um, cheddar cheese, tomato, mustard, and I think... Mayonnaise or just mustard? It looks like a mayonnaise -y mustard. I'm not sure. So let's taste it, y'all. <laughs> mm. 
In my opinion, <laughs> that is not a great sandwich. I feel like it lacks everything. <laughs> the chicken inside of it is very plain. I feel like maybe if they left the like rotisserie skin on, it might have more flavor. It just tastes like really plain chicken, like so plain. Um, the bread doesn't go well with this kind of chicken. It's just very, mm. I couldn't even taste the mustard. Um, all the toppings were just like whatever, like, I just am not a fan of that sandwich, to be honest, at all. But once again, that's just my opinion. Let me take a bite of this one again so we can refresh our power with barbecue sauce. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next up, let's do another side. Let's do the creamed spinach. So like I said before, I've never had creamed spinach. I'm not a spinach hater. Um, a lot of people hate it, and I really don't mind spinach. I am kind of scared of this, though, just because it's so experimental so the creamed spinach was three dollars and four cents by the way like i always say these are just uber eats prices i don't know if they are accurate representations of everyone's prices at their boston markets anyways um i just see spinach in a cream sauce so let's taste it bitch we know her we want to know her y'all <laughs> We knew her in a past life. We know her in the future. We will always know her. That is so good. Y'all know I'm a little bitch when it comes to vegetables. I'll eat them, but I'm not a big fan. But with this, I would actually order this to have as a side. It is delicious. The texture of the cream is like really thick, almost like a mac and cheese sauce. Wow, this is a 10 out of 10. I keep eating spinach, y'all. I know that people can make vegetables taste good by like cooking and different things and all that stuff, but I never thought vegetables could taste this good. Let's do both salads at the same damn time. Let's first try the Caesar salad. So, this Caesar salad is $6.49, and um, if you want chicken, it costs extra. I feel like the size of the salad is good, but I think that for $6, it should come with chicken, because in my opinion, it's a bit overpriced. Like, this is literally just some lettuce, Parmesan cheese that's like kind of like grated on, and then um, croutons. Like, for $6, we need some damn chicken. I'm sorry, no offense, but we do. Let's put on the Caesar dressing. Oh, y'all, this is a thick one. Whoa, <laughs> that is a thick dressing, y'all. Are we a Dairy Queen? Let's mix it up a bit. Now, y'all know that I love me some ranch, but I also love me some Caesar. I don't have it often, but I do love it. Let's taste I got some croutons, got some cheese, got some lettuce, a lot of dressing. Mmm, mm-hmm. Mmm, the croutons are great. Their dressing is great. The lettuce is great. It's all great. It just needs some chicken because this would not fill me up. We need some protein in this bitch. It's not really worth it in my opinion. If it was three dollars, four dollars maybe, it would be worth it. But with no protein, uh-uh. Now it's time to try the Southwest Santa Fe salad. It is six dollars and four nine cents. Once again, I don't think that there's meat on it, but it does have more toppings. Corn, which I'm not a huge fan of in salads, but whatever. Tomato, onions, um, tortilla chips, and then dressing. I don't know what kind of dressing it is. It does not specify on this app. Ooh, very drippy. I like it. What is it? Ooh, some kind of a vinaigrette. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. I think I only need one cup of it. It smells really strong. Let's just mix it a bit. Oh, yeah, wait, there are some black beans up in here. That's good. It's a little bit of protein, right? Are beans protein? Beans are protein. A lejeune, lejeune is protein. Let's get some of everything in this bite. Sour. In my opinion, I don't like it. The vinaigrette is just way too sour and sweet and uh, it's just not doing it for me. I would prefer more like a chipotle ranch and maybe some avocados in it, some chicken. This is not the tea stick. That's not gonna be very high in my ranking, I'll tell you that now. Okay, y'all, <laughs> it's time for some loaf. This is the whole meatloaf, which is a great thing to buy if you're like a parent and you're like running late and you need to pick up some kind of dinner. That's really good that they have a whole meatloaf for you. The whole meatloaf is $9.79. I think that's a great price because this could feed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight people as like the main entree with like sides. That's great. So in the loaf, it looks pretty meaty. Uh, I do like that it looks like mostly meat and maybe some like little onions. Um, what I don't like when people make meatloaf is like when they put like oats 
and like weird shit in it like like cranberries or like damn olives or some some white people stuff and y'all might be thinking isn't Timmy white well girl I am half Cuban so I have some taste what I'm saying is that I appreciate that there's no extra bullshit in this it looks like mostly meat and like breadcrumbs and things like that um I also like that there's not like globs of ketchup on top I hate it when people put globs on top it's like too much and then it bakes and it gets like that ketchup skin on top and you're like okay no it looks more like a very light glaze and it looks darker than ketchup almost like barbecue sauce so I'm here for it it looks really good let's taste some meatloaf y'all mmm <laughs> oh yeah oh that's good y'all meatloaf can be very amazing or very disgusting this is really, really good. Like I said before, there's no extra shit in it. It's just really delicious. It kind of tastes more like a meatball, like a big meatball than meatloaf. And I'm, I really like that. I would totally eat this with like mashed potatoes and a vegetable, y'all. That is delicious. Next up, let's do another side. Let's do the mashed potatoes. So y'all, I've had these mashed potatoes so many times. It's $2.89. Let me just dig in because I know exactly what it tastes like, y'all. Mmm, yo. Mmm! That's a simple, delicious, authentic mashed potato, y'all. It knows it's a potato. It knows that it's not the most flavorful thing in the world, but it works with it and it makes it real creamy. It's not like, I'm trying to be something I'm not. No, it's like, I am me. Kind of simple, but I'm the perfect accessory to your meat or to your plant-based grass pile if you're vegan. We only have a few items left, y'all. Chicken pot pie, apple pie, ribs, chicken noodle soup, mac and cheese, and sweet potato casserole. Let's do the chicken noodle soup. Ooh, y'all. It looks so good. So it's called the rotisserie chicken noodle soup, and it is $4.99. Ooh. It's a little pricey for a bowl of soup, y'all. I mean, like, I see chicken in it, but I don't see a ton of chicken in it, so I'm like, why is it $5? I feel like it should be $3.50 maybe. But y'all, it is pretty full of, like, carrots and stuff like that. So let's just taste the whole big bite with everything in it. Hmm. In my opinion, it's, it's really plain. I feel like chicken noodle soup needs to be salty, and have a strong chicken broth flavor. And to be honest, this just tastes like chopped up vegetables in like a watery broth. It isn't even that chickeny. I expect it more. I don't love it. I'm not a big fan. Next up, we're gonna try the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is something that's like really hard to mess up. So I hope it's really good. It was $2.89. And it's not really like macaroni, it's like these little um, corkscrew noodles. I think that's what it's called. Very cheesy looking sauce. Oh, it's like so. Wow. It reminds me so much of a mac and cheese that I had when I was a kid and I do not remember which mac and cheese it was, but it tastes just like one of them. It's so good, it has a slight sweetness. Um, the sauce isn't like really like homemade tasting. It tastes more like kind of like an instant sauce or something like that, like a packet of something, I don't know. But I don't care, I love it. It's sweet, it's tangy, it's delicious, it's creamy. I really love the mac and cheese. I would totally eat it any day of the week, y'all. Y'all, we are at the last four items and almost everything has been so good. Well, almost everything, not everything, but I'm really slain. So next up, let's try the apple pie. So it's a big slice. You can see like the inside of it on the side of the container and it looks so delicious. The apple pie was $2.09. That's very cheap. The carrot cake was $2.99. So the carrot cake was almost a dollar more. $2 for this much pie is a great price. I think that's perfect. The crust looks super golden and crusty. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, I love crust. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this big ass bite. Are you guys ready? Oh. little tease. I think I just sharded. That took over my whole body. The crust <laughs> has such a buttery flavor. It really adds this like almost caramely flavor to it. The filling is like a normal apple pie. Like I'm not like obsessed with that, but the crust really does have a caramely flavor. I'm really snatched by this. For $2, for that value, y'all, one of the best desserts for that value. That is amazing. Oh wait, but I will say that the filling is a little apple saucy, but it doesn't even matter because the rest of it is so good that it just, oh, I'll eat that yesterday. I'll eat that today. I'll eat that tomorrow. I would marry that. I live with that. I shit on it. I vomit on it. Next up, we're gonna try 
the chicken pot pie. Now, what did I say before y'all? I was hoping that it would have two crusts, a top and a bottom one. This is telling me it doesn't. I mean, I might have to double check, but why, <laughs> why is it hanging off like a love handle? I just don't get it. So let's break into it. <laughs> oh, that's a nice thick crust on top though. Oh, that's real thick. Oh, there's like tons of chicken underneath, like tons. What? It's like all chicken. Okay, I see some sauce too and some veggies. I was hoping it was all chicken. I love chicken. Now, is there a side crust? No, there is not. And there's no bottom crust either. Let's taste it. Y'all, it doesn't even need a damn bottom crust. That is so, oh my God. That rotisserie chicken really works so well with the sauce inside of it and the crust. How have I never had this before? It's amazing. It tastes like pot pie heaven. It's like how pot pie should be. Like y'all, a lot of pot pies have like those little square pieces of chicken that taste really fake. This has real chicken in it and there's a lot of chicken in it. So, oh wait, the price. Y'all, what is the price of this? The chicken pot pie is $7.19. I think it's worth it. It has a lot of chicken inside. It's very filling because of all the chicken. Uh, uh. So now we have two things left to taste, the sweet potato casserole and the ribs. Let's just try the sweet potato casserole first. This looks like very mushy, very sweet. It has a lot of brown sugar on top. I see marshmallows, everything. Oh, I see oats, like oatmeal kind of. Let's taste it, y'all. Same. It's not my thing. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I like the brown sugar. I like the oats, I like the marshmallows. I just don't like the taste of sweet potato. It has this weird flavor to it. So this is not Boston Market's fault. This is a personal preference. I just don't like sweet potatoes. So that would be a pass from me. But if you like sweet potatoes and you love like sweet sweet potatoes, you'll love this for sure. Last but not least, y'all, we have the ribs. Oh wait, y'all, the price of the sweet potato, I almost forgot. The sweet potato casserole is $3.04. Okay, now it's time for the ribs. So the St. Louis style Desi barbecue ribs, one fourth of a rack is $9.99. A full rack of ribs at a sit down restaurant is probably like less than $20. So for a fourth of a rack of ribs to be $9 is crazy. But I'm trying to forget about the price and I'm going to Eat these ribs. I've never had Boston Market ribs in my life. I'm gonna get messy, y'all. I want like a middle piece so I can get that meat. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to be a messy ass bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold the shit. Recently, I went to the sit down restaurant. I got a whole rack of ribs, right? I swear to God, there was no meat on the damn bone. I felt like I just chewed on bones all night and I was so hungry. This, this has meat on the damn bone, y'all. These are some juicy ass ribs. Sorry, I'm just washing my face and my hands. They're filling, they have amazing flavor, amazing texture. I didn't taste like any globs of fat. The barbecue sauce on top, so good. Wow, that was the perfect finale. I am about to rank all the items from worst to best, but before I do, let me just say, I have to say, I think Boston Market is one of the most underrated restaurants ever. I've never really eaten there that much because I'm just like, oh, look, it's Boston Market, like whatever. No girl, it's Boston Market. Why are we not standing her? I don't get it. Literally besides like two or three items, everything else blew my mind. I'm really snatched, so I'm just going to rank everything. Worst will start here and it will go all the way to best. Okay, so let's go. Play the music. It goes from worst, one row, and then it goes back here, and then all the way up to best, okay? So, worst, in my opinion, was the Southwestern, or Santa Fe salad, whatever it was. And then we have the rotisserie chicken sandwich, which to me was very, very plain. I did not like it. And then we have the sweet potato casserole, and then the chicken noodle soup, and then the Caesar salad, which was good, but just, okay, you know? Now, let me pause and say, all the rest is all really good. I just had to rank them. So next up we have the simple dill potatoes and then the meatloaf, which was amazing, but it had to go behind some things, y'all, I'm sorry. Mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, and then we have the carrot cake. Turkey breast, so good. Creamed spinach, iconic. Chicken pot pie, apple pie, iconic. The barbecue chicken sandwich was everything, but my favorite thing, 
the ribs, y'all. Some of the most juiciest, best ribs I've ever had, and I'm shook about it. It's crazy that the top two items are both barbecue items. I'm not a big barbecue fan, so I'm shook. Overall, it was an amazing experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this whole video, you're the truest tomato in all the patch. And so I know who you are. Leave a comment that says, so much chicken, so much pine. That's it. I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> also, go watch my last video, y'all. I made a giant Lunchable. Legit. Like, for real. Also, I'm on Cameo, so check that out, too. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Ooh, boo, boo.